Now to a meeting that President Bush just had with the Greek Prime Minister. Let's listen in. Unless you lose the majority. No, I got it, sure. Sure. I thank you all for coming. It's my pleasure to welcome the Prime Minister back. It's good to see you, sir. Uh, America and Greece have got a strategic partnership that's important. It's important for our respective peoples, and it's important we work together to spread freedom and peace. I want to welcome you here. Last time you were here, we were talking about the Olympics. Uh, I told the Prime Minister I was confident that the, the government uh, would make sure the Olympics were secure. I was so confident I sent my family. Uh, and not only did you keep your word, uh, my parents uh, and my, some of my relatives had a fabulous time in a spectacular country. I look forward to visiting with you on a variety of subjects, uh, the freedom agenda, freedom in the greater Middle East, uh, the Balkans. Uh, I look forward to talking to you about uh, how best we can work together to uh, continue to spread liberty. So I'm proud you're here and, and welcome to the United States. Well, it's my second visit to President Bush within almost a year. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, this reflects the excellent bilateral relations we have. And, of course, our determination to further our partnership to promote uh, in areas of mutual interest the common goals we have. And I think that this is going to be the outcome of this meeting as well, to keep working closely in, in matters which are very important to both of us and both countries. Thank you all. That was a meeting that took place just a few moments ago between President Bush and the Greek Prime Minister. And the Partners in the war on terror, close U.S. ally in a key corner of Europe. The Greek Prime Minister visiting Washington, and he'll visit with us. We'll talk about his meeting with President Bush at the White House, plus more. And the Senate. A key NATO ally with an important role ranging from the Balkans to Afghanistan. The Greek Prime Minister Kostas Karamanlis paid a visit to the White House today, and shortly after that, he sat down with me. Prime Minister, welcome back to Washington. Good to have you uh, here at CNN. Good to see you again, Mr. Blitzer. Let's talk about attitudes towards America in Greece. We hear a lot in this country about anti-American attitudes. What's it like from your perspective among the Greek, Greek people? I think that the average Greek citizen has a very positive attitude on, about, the war in about, Iraq, about America. Did the war in Iraq now, change that? One has not to, to mix different things. It's, it's very natural that people, not only in Greece, all over the world, might have one or another attitude on specific uh, issues or decisions on foreign policy or international behavior of uh, not only the United States, but the United States being a superpower, the great power of the world, is naturally attracting all the focus on its own moves. So I would say I wouldn't put a black and white uh, The war in Iraq, was, was it popular in Greece? No, it, it wasn't popular all over Europe. That's, that's, that's known and, and uh, clear. But I wouldn't say that one should infer, make easy conclusions about the general attitude the Greek people, or for that matter, any European people, has on America and the American people. They still like Americans, but not necessarily the policy as far as Iraq is concerned. Not always all the policy. All right, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the new Iraq. There's a government, elections. Is your government prepared to change its policy and become more actively involved, perhaps even militarily, in helping this new Iraqi government against the insurgency? Let me tell you something. One shouldn't look back. Now we have a positive development. Elections, a new president, a new prime minister, and we are very hopeful that this process will move speedy, speedily towards a full democratization uh, and a, a society which is based on the rule of law. Can Greece help? And we are already helping. What are you doing? Economically, we are participating in training uh, Iraqi forces. So we are involved not only in Iraq, but in the broader effort 
to uh, promote democracy, stability, the rule of law, civic society throughout the broader region. You're more actively involved in Afghanistan than in Iraq. That's true. In Why? Terms, what, what's the terms, difference between the Afghanistan and Iraq right now? The difference was initially uh, the, that Afghanistan was clearly under the auspices of the United Nations. So uh, on Iraq there was, as you remember, a controversy between Europe, the European Union, etc. But that's all back. What we need to do is focus now on the priorities we have. And the priority is a full and, f and speedy democratization of Iraq and, of course, the spreading of the basic principles of stability and democracy throughout the broader region. So on that, you're on the same page when it comes to democracy and President Bush. Did you see that picture today of Saddam Hussein in his underwear? No, I didn't. I see that yet. Because it's all over the, the media, the tabloids, the photograph. Uh, Saddam Hussein is in prison, but he, there's a picture. We don't know if it's authentic of him in his underwear. Haven't seen it. The people of Iraq, you believe, are better off without Saddam Hussein. I believe that every, every people has the right to ascertain its own rights on liberty, democracy, and an open society. And what now the priority for them, and I think for all the world is, is to move on to the next day. And the next day is in Iraq, which is governed by itself, has a democratically elected government, and takes a role to reconstruction and eventually prosperity. You spent some time at the White House with the President of the United States today. Are there any serious problems in U.S.-Greek relations that came up during this meeting? No, no, there are no serious problems. At this stage, I think we have a good understanding, a very good uh, level of bilateral relations, and of course, quite uh, a number of issues of mutual concern, which are, broadly speaking, international. The Balkans, for example, Middle East, Cyprus. So there are issues which are of mutual interest to promote our common goals. Welcome to Washington, Mr. Prime Minister. Always good to see you when you're here. Thank you very much, Mr. Bissell.